Hey guys, Cell here, and welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we did every single thing we could. Literally, we surprisingly are now on the final week of January. And we somehow got Professor B level B+. Hopefully the next tournament is someone that I can also actually do it with. Then it will be even better. So let's end the day. And now we are heading towards our battle. Professor, I know where the enemy is. Where Solon is. They're in a place called the Sealed Forest, close to the monastery. The Archbishop is gathering the knights to begin a search. She's doing so in secret, behind our backs. Why in secret? She must be afraid that a thirst for revenge will compel you to seek them out. Now that you know, will you give us the order? No, I will not allow it. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. Oh, I don't even get a choice. You can't stop me. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. Lady Rhea, our professor is not acting out of revenge. I mean, it kind of feels like it. Sending us out there is the most strategic move we can make. You can't deny it. Most of the knights are still far away. Not only does our professor wield a hero's relic, but there is no one here who is more powerful. Hell yeah! Sedith and the few remaining knights can't leave the monastery unattended. We have fought under our teacher's command countless times. We are the most effective army here. And we are already prepared for battle. We have no idea what the enemy is plotting. We must act now. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? Of course. Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. Oh, we will. You have the protection of the goddess on your side. Whatever happens, you shall overcome. Let's go, my mm -hmm. teacher. Whatever happens, do not lose your conviction out there. You mean as you pronounce yourself as the... Flame Emperor? Whatever the hell that, that person's name is. I keep forgetting. I also need to buy some silver weapons. Marketplace. Did I buy all the silver weapons that I could? Convoy, silver. Uh, three silver swords. Uh, one of the silver axes. I bought all of them. I don't need a short spear. A horse slayer is kind of nice. So get three of these. Hammer. Ten, six. We don't we don't need that. We're already plenty powerful as it is. Silver bow. Buy three of these. Along with a couple of iron bows. On gauntlets. I need another couple of iron axes. Iron spears. Lances, whatever you want to call them. And eh. I literally already buy on bows. I've already forgotten. I'm, I'm trying to think of too many things at once right now. Iron item shop. I don't need steel shield because I have a silver shield, I believe. Intermediate seals. I can buy them at any time. I got all the advanced seals. Okay. Let's save the game on this save slot. And let's go.
The Sealed Forest Snare. Suggested level is 19. In pursuit of justice for Gerald, you and your students find yourselves deep in the Sealed Forest. Yes. The Sealed Forest Snare. White Clouds Chapter 10, where the goddess dwells. We are now within the Sealed Forest. We must not let our guard down. Professor, we'll avenge Gerald for you, no matter what. Remember, it is a bad idea to get distracted by revenge. I agree. I have readiness. Our enemies will be taking... Uh, we will take our enemies down. Well, it's not like we have any other missions this month. I suppose this is as good a way as any to spend our energy. Lindhart spending energy? We better finish this fast before the pigs start flying everywhere. Yeah, it is strange. Lower your voice. The enemy could be close. Sorry. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. So you want me to talk in the ASMR voice now? How y'all doing? Professor, I know I'm the one who insisted <laughs> we come here. But don't doubt for a moment that the enemy is waiting for you. Lady Edelgard, what are you saying? What other objective could they possibly have? We have no clue what kind of trap is waiting for us. Please be careful, my teacher. We can't I afford will. to lose you. The enemy is strong, but you will prevail. You must. Oh? Words of wisdom from here, Bert? So you want me to live? Let's be honest, he probably just wants me to live because he knows I'll still be useful to Edelgard. Okay, swords. I mean, I can just deal with my own weapons. Iron Lance. Iron Bow, Lance. Yeah, okay. So item, take away the bullion. And you know what? I'll just skip to when I'm actually ready. Alright, we got our weapons. Let's go. Defeat the enemy commander. All of your units fall in battle. Look there, demonic beasts. I suppose they aren't holding back. Those demonic bees are probably Hello, just. You're here. Welcome to the forest of death. <laughs> My name is Kranya. This weakling girl was just a borrowed look for me. <laughs> this is what I really look like. Now, you vermin, I'll take down every last one of you. Sure you will. Stay focused. Do, do, do. But yeah, as I was going to say, these monsters are probably still just some of the church people turned into monsters. Wait. Marianne, you oh, cannot... How far can you dance go? Oh, yeah, no. Your dance can't go that far. But you can go up here, wait, and dance for Edelgard to get her up there. Who is needing well to take out the enemy as fast as possible, right? Because I can just get everyone's level ups when I need to. Attack, hand axe, attack. <laughs> No damage. I just really... Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to equip her with the, uh... Silver shield. That's my cue. Attack, meteor. Attack, that side. Probably didn't do what I wanted to do. Oh, no, it did. Ready. It did. Right up here. Attack, iron bow. Nope. Okay, we have those guys, those guys. All we have to do is kill Cronia, who's only 21. Alright, I guess we're moving up. No one will be attacking me, so it's good. What's not good is the fact that we have Here magic go. users going up against Edelgard. That I did not think away. through. Oh, you want to attack Plane? Okay. 
What skill are you currently on? Are you on Cutting Gale? Sure. Wait. Petra! I will get the victory. You will go right here. Oh, no. Bernie. Go right behind Mercedes. Let's and Leone, you can go right here in front of Marianne. Bring it. How much if this takes too long, I might be forced to escape. Oh, or do you simply intend to let me go? How accommodating of you. As for me, I intend to kill you all. <laughs> Come at me. I intend to kill, kill us all if you don't even bother coming well, yourself. How is that? Let's see, why is Manuela here? She's the Ajutin. Put the hammer away. Hey, come on, come at us. Predictable. Can't kill me. Although once we attack. Oh my god, two crits with Flane! Oh Flane, I love you right now. I love you so much right now for that. Good job. But yeah, if we take out Tonya, oh no damage and a crit. Bye. It's the least I could do. Then maybe we won't get attacked by anyone else. Because I mean, it says defeat the commander. But what is it really just that simple though? I'm just literally taking out the commander. Wait, hold on. I want to move up as far as I can. Adrian, you can go right. There. So I will go right here. Attack. Iron sword. As expected. The money on. Dance for me, baby. Dance. <laughs> then I can take out the other guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other th guys are trying to come after us, but we'll be too far. Ahead of the game, but I'm gonna do anything to us. Attack, fire, it's over. and a crit. Yeah. Bye. But it literally can't be this easy. It, it can't. There's got to be a catch that I don't see. Maybe she'll teleport around? Or well, it could literally just be that straightforward. Kind of sad if it is. Hey, if you want to come after Ingrid besides me, go ahead. She needs the experience. Leonie? I feel like leaving some of them behind. But if I do, I might end up screwing myself in the future. And I'm trying to go around. I just realized that these are literally just bushes that I can go in. So, my bad. I'll save the last meteor just in case. Goodbye. Thanks to a double attacking, Mercedes got her health back up. And you missed Bernie. And you're dead thanks to the crit. We're almost done, I think. And you missed Ingrid. Plus you're dead. I love everyone's double attacks. It's fantastic. We've already killed most of the units that are even here. Are you serious? There's a chest. And wait, hold on. She's here. This has to be a trap, because there's something in this rock. And then there's this right here. Yeah, yeah, after we take her out, there's gotta be a second stage to this fight. Attack, fire. You're a Bye, fool to be so brazen. You'll never avenge your father at this rate. <laughs> I'll have to kill you too! With my own hands. No uh -huh. What about a crit? Goodbye. Oh, 
Don't chase. This could be a trap, like they've said. How could I really lose to the lowly creature like you? You're the lowly creature. Well. Solon, don't just stand there and stare. He's gonna kill I need you. Your help. Yes, you most certainly do. Huh? Well, he's gonna power you up by turning you into a monster. Have no fear, Kranya. Your sacrifice will help to rid this world of the filthy vermin that have long infested it. Is that Edel going back there? Spell, huh? Bye, Connus. Please help me. No, you killed our father. <sighs> okay, what'd you turn into? What'd you send me to the Shadow Realm? Be gone with you, Felstar. Bellstar? Is that what I am? That could only have been magic. What happened to our professor? They were swallowed by the mystical darkness of the forbidden spell. An eternity wandering in a void of nothingness, never to return to this world. Oh, I will, and I'm coming for you. To think, we almost had the sword of the creator. You're lying. Our professor is alive. I know it. That's right. Our professor is no ordinary human. Exactly. My heart doesn't beat. It is hard to fathom that our professor would die in a place like this. It is possible that death has yet to find your friend, but there are worse things than death. Drifting through the darkness with no chance of escape. Overwhelmed with hopelessness. <laughs> It must be torturous. You're already boasting a victory, but know this. If you did use such devious tricks to stop our professor, I swear that you will regret it. I cannot help but agree with her this once. Even if our professor is trapped in darkness, that is not the end of their story. I will not forgive such arrogance. You're the arrogant fool right here. If you prefer it so. You shall also be added to the ranks of the dead. Come on, part two. With my students in me no one's no in, in sight. This is their first real battle without their sensei. You fool! What were you thinking charging right into an enemy's trap? Are you just a boulder that rolls down whatever hill it's on? No, even a boulder has more sense. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. I can explain. I'm sorry. Apologizing won't make things right. This darkness is terrifying. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. But please consider this. This realm of darkness we are in is separate from the world from which you came. I mean that it would take a god to leave this place. Or a goddess, which you are. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? I am not. I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet, <sighs> there is no other choice. What choice? Do you recall your father's diary? 
Yes. He said you were a child who never cried nor laughed. I think I am the one to blame. I must have been asleep, but even then, I feel I was a part of you. I do not know how Rhea managed it, but she allowed me to exist inside of you. The truth is, I have always been with you. It is within you that I found my power yet again. The power of a goddess. The power of the progenitor god. Wait, wait, wait. Are you are you telling me that we're finally going to split? Will you will come out, out of me and use your goddess powers and then maybe I can befriend you and fall in love with you and then you can marry me? And I can marry a goddess? Oh, man. Just thinking of that is awesome. But I would do Edelgard first still since I've said I would. But my next choice would probably be Sothis. If I could. My name is Sothis. By now, you Sothis. must be well aware of what that means. I am the one who watches over Fodlin and the creatures dwelling there. I am Sothis. She who died and then returned. Somehow I know it to be true. There is but one thing left to do to save us from this darkness of eternity. I must now use the power of a god. Oh yeah. However, I lack a body of my own. And so I must relinquish all the power that I have to you. So wait, does that mean I'm going to ascend to a god? The time has come for you and I to join as one. And when that comes to pass, no. I shall disappear. Disappear? I won't allow it. When I say disappear, I do not mean that all I am will be no more. My soul will join with yours, and you and I will never be apart. Okay, wait. If, the, if that's the case, I know for a fact that you can get Sothis to an S, I think. I've seen that somewhere before on the internet. Which would mean that we might be able to split ourselves apart? Unless you're literally falling in love with yourself, but then you would need a mirror for that. But I will no longer have the chance to speak with you. I shall miss it. So long have I been on this path with you. Through you, I got to see and hear this world. I even got to chastise you from time to time. I may not have acted like a goddess, but it was certainly fun. For all that you have done, thank you. I'm glad that it was you to whom my fate was bound. Thank you for everything. Now, we must pray. For if we share this wish, our spirits too will join as one. Your wish is to return to the forest, stop the enemy, and rescue the little ones. <laughs> no need for words. I know your heart as though it were my own. Does that mean my heart will also start beating? I mean, I don't want Celtis to disappear will and, and not be able to talk. Now is one. Both sides of time are revealed to you, and you alone. You know I am the beginning. What shall you do? I shall create my end. Selfish. This is so cool. Yes, I'm easily impressed. Oh sh! Oh, oh, oh. oh hell yeah! Itself. 
I am now the goddess that watches over Fodlin. Oh boy. I am loving this right now. Professor, it is you, right? I knew that you would always come back to us. And my hair is now light green instead of dark green. My hair is now uh, light green instead of the uh, darkish bluish purple that it was. Oh, hell yeah. I'd like to ask about your appearance, but for now, let's dispose of our enemies. What did you see in the darkness of Zaharas? This should be impossible. The only being that can withstand that darkness is... A god. Well, a goddess. Unless I dispose of you myself, I may never have the chance to send you back there. Come on. Come on. Bring it. Me and my students will take you out. Fusing with Celtis allowed the sword of the creator to regain its true power. Do do do. Uh, hmm. Marion, you can go. Yep, no, that ain't gonna work. Can't attack from that distance. It's too far, man. But you know what? Convoy. I've said I would never use it, but I'm gonna use it. Cause now I've grinded so much that I can technically rest. Sublime Creator Sword. Items. Equip. Wait. All right, Marion. Can you dance from the side? No, you cannot. You know what'd be ironic? Is I get Donald Thea close to him and I just kill him right there, then and there without attacking with myself. That would be ironic. But I won't do that. Petra. Attack. Oh dang. Your bow doesn't do crap. Your steel bow do plus does. Come on, let's do this thing. Attack. Cutting Gale, kill him. Good job. I am spent. Now, Ingrid. Come over here, attack Iron Lance, kill him. Goodbye, Monsieur, your soldier. And right there. Leonie. You literally can only move right there, but that's fine. Mercedes. Just go right there. And wait. Come on, what's the sword of the creator do? It's time! Oh? You really want to do that? You have a 30% chance to hit me. No damage, but I took a uh, I took the hit, didn't I? And I wanted to see what the sword of the creator could do. <laughs> 72 damage crit! With the sword of the creator, it took out literally all of its health. Attack! Sublime Creator Sword. Attack the part of it that doesn't have. There we go. Allow me to demonstrate. Hell yeah! Sit down, you beast. Now let's.
let's make it to where I don't have to use as many parts to it. Actually, no. Right here. Take out the heavy armor dude. I want to keep as many points of that sword that I can. Petra. You shall wait right there. Ingrid. Attack, Iron Lance. Iron Axe, kill him. Good job. Seems I prevailed. It's only been 34 minutes and I'm already impressed with what has happened so far in this game. Well, in this episode. <laughs> now, right there. Ready on, you can move. Leone, go right there. Can I move Leone again? Yes, I can. Oh god. Oh god. Oh good god. Nope. Can't do it. Let's go over here. And dance. It'll go. You'll be repaid. You know what? I've learned my lesson. I need someone to tank for me. While well, I go about fighting that prick. I will, however, attack Meteor. I shall help out on the matter. Damage him. Any other guy. So when he attacks Leone, he'll die in one hit. Reset is. You go here, assist. And he. I, I love that hair color change. You saved me. There we go. Ingrid's now healed, and Reset is now level 25. You're dead. That takes care of that. See you later, sucker. And you're gone. Aim for greatness. And great, I love you. The monster slowly coming over here. Come on, attack him, oh God. Luckily, she has the hand axe on you. She got a crit. Now she's level 30, and she can become the heavy armored riding unit. I've wanted to become for quite a while, but I need Master Seals 4. Yeah. Try. No damage. At least with axes, she doesn't take much. Now, Barma can already go. She can only go there. Okay, I I've seen enough of my sword now. Uh, Iron Sword equipped. Attack. Fire. Oh. Oh. Just wait. Petra! Wants you to attack this one with your iron sword. <laughs> Six damage and a crit to finish you off. Yeah, you could have ended Just on a 69. Like that. that would have been fantastic. Alright. Attack. Uh, what is it? You're already using it. I don't know why I thought she wasn't. Now the heavy armored guy is gone, and you're the only one up here. How do you feel, bitch? How's it feel? To be the only one left. Up there. What am I doing? I need to I need to take out this beast. Iron Lance. One HP, are you serious? Nope, you know what? Marion! This will be your first ever beast kill! Iron Sword! Ironically enough, she'll take. Wait. It won't take damage when it has no armor, but it will take damage when she attacks the. Th no. Oh, wait. 
That's with Nosferatu. Whoops. Fast strike. That's enough. Kill it. And goodbye. Good job, Mighty On. The first beast kill. Um. Oh well. Hey, you got. You became more charming. That's good. Little god. Yeah. You're not gonna get close enough for that thought on. But I mean, you can't get close enough either. Wait. Move everyone up. Anyone need heal? Money on. See what it does. You're amazing. Got some experience and why is Flane using a spear right now? Oh, because she ran out of her magic abilities. Whatever. End phase. Come on. What is that guy doing? So I might want to go kill him before I do this. You drop a magic attack. Throw it on. Goodbye. Take me seriously. Give that magic staff. I won't go down so easily. Now what's that do? The staff that guides the use of magic and raises might for magical attacks. Plus three magic. Oh hell yeah. That'll go great with my mortal savant. I'm getting closer. You better watch yourself now. And turn. Come on. Come at us. Man, I completely forgot that you were even there. Otherwise, I would have actually had Leonie attack you. Goodbye. Thanks for the experience and getting her to 27. I'm aiming. I'm so proud of my students right now. Except for the moment when they have to make me have to do that. Okay. It's time. You'll die with my iron sword? You're not even worth using my freaking hero sword on. So go I'm and die. Terrified by you. As you should. Even though an emotion like fear has no place inside me. That means you must be eliminated. You can't do that. You're too weak. Even if I was your level, you're still too weak. Ending it off with a crit. Bye bye. That I would lose to mere beasts. And that is how you fuse with a goddess, become really cool looking, and finish Tell them us off. We'll carry out our mission somehow. It's over. Now, Professor, about your appearance. Yeah, about that. I combined with a goddess to become my new green, light green haired form. This is amazing. But yeah, apparently I'm a goddess now. So all shall kneel before me. Plus, I'm the goddess that everyone reveres. Southeast. Or, well, now sell. Bow down and f pray to your new goddess. Thanks to the cell, all of your allies' motivation increased. I'm already letting the power get to my head. Oh boy. That hair. And those eyes. You remind me of someone. What happened to you? The goddess gifted me her power. The goddess? I see. Well, I'm happy for you. Your weapon is called the Sword of the Creator, after all. It's no wonder she looks favorably upon you. Just as it was with Saint Saros, no doubt. And just how will you use this new power, Professor? For the people of the world, for my students, for myself. <laughs> so this is when I get to choose? I'll use it for my students, obviously. I, I love all of you and I want to protect every last one of you. For us? I see. Tell me, if the world, and your students included, 
were to divide and go to war with each other, what would you do? In that scenario, each side would represent both the world and your students. Who would you? You? Professor, have you fallen asleep? Uh, this must be a side effect of your recent changes. Yeah. I can't just leave you here. I shouldn't ask Hubert to carry you. So I suppose it falls to me. That's right, carry me, my love. In times flow, see the glow of flames ever burning bright on the swift rivers drift, broken. And hopefully no copyright strike. <laughs> Ooh, Professor, nice image. You must remain still. Yes, but thumbnail, maybe. Where am I? What happened? Everything is all right. There is no need to worry. Those who are trying to harm you are far away. Again, though, this still doesn't explain my mother. I've been told my mother died. Who is she? And who what did you mean by my, damn it? Explain to me now. Last time we got interrupted. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. I wish I could hold on to this time we have stolen. That you and I could create a world without end. I have heard whispers of what happened to you. Your appearance. You have received power from the goddess. Yes, I have. From the moment you took hold of the sword of the creator. I prayed that one day the radiant power of Sothis, which bathes Fodlin in its celestial light, might reside within you. But you are so much more than the light. You are my... Daughter? <sighs> Close your eyes, dear one. Sleep just a while longer. Niece? I will be watching over you. Always. Always and forever. Tell me things, woman. Who is my mother? Part one. White clouds. Pegasus moon. Throne of knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, your throat is more treacherous than ever. I also like the fact that now the little character that walks on the loading screen whenever I move the controllers, now she also has light green hair. That's a nice touch. I see 5,000 gold from Church of Seros is funding for this month's activities. I say that's a little bit cheap seeing as I got the B plus professor, but still. What's up? What's our mission for this month? Leia, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? 
In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Said it enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. Tell me now. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. Voice. Your mother? Your sister? Selfies herself? I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. I love that hair. Now that you have received sacred power from the goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the holy tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the goddess. But I am the goddess now. The holy tomb, a revelation. The holy tomb is where the goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Wait. If we go to the holy tomb, and we push the power back into her body, would that mean that she then has her body that she can use to walk around, and we can actually talk to her and have fun with her again? If so, I will enjoy this, but I will miss my hair unless it permanently is changed this way. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. She literally just told me to use the power I want to, to, to use the power to save my students. Prepare That's all she told me. Prepare yourself to go at once. There, may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. You think it is wise to bring them into this? A mission, now. It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Whoa, we get to put you in a party? Strange, isn't that too dangerous? The Holy Tomb is a sacred temple that is sealed off from the rest of the world. There is nothing to fear. Sure. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony, and prepare your students well. Oh, don't you worry, I will. Totally do that. My Scythia would like to speak with you. Is now a good time? Yes. Professor, thank you for helping me with my training. Anytime. I'd love to do this again, if possible. Your advice is always so useful. Everyone thinks you're a wonderful teacher. You account for people's weaknesses while capitalizing on their strengths. Initially, I wasn't sure you paid too much attention to your students. Clearly, I was wrong. I probably pay way too much attention to my students. After all, were that the case, you wouldn't be capable of providing such useful feedback. I'll continue to learn and grow from your instruction, Professor. I just know it. You're quite determined. Do you think I'm determined? Yes, you're always pushing yourself. Professor, I... 
Thank you. You're the only one who's ever praised me like that. I mean, people are always telling me I've got a knack for magic. If you can call the power of my crest a knack, they aren't wrong per se. Though bearing two crests isn't a gift I ever asked for. Anyhow, I've made a point to work harder than most and not rely too heavily on the power they bestow. So I find it frustrating that the only praise I seem to receive is directly related to that power. If you've noticed how hard I work, then well, it just... It makes me very happy. Why do you work yourself so hard? Well... You see... I... It is because... I am the only child of House Ordelia. I must do all I can for my family name. I'm determined to someday be of real value to them. And that day must come soon. I can't waste any time. I don't have much of it left. Anyway, I should be going. Thank you again for your help. You're welcome anytime. Level B. Hey, we can actually teach her. Whose birthday is this? It's Hilda's birthday. Oh, no. Oh, wow, Flowers, thanks. you don't come to my class, you don't get any tea. It's Hanneman's birthday. Give flowers. Refusing with stealthies and awakening of Pagenta's God's power, Cells obtained a certification for the Enlightened One class. Whoa. Class change. What a strange feeling. What the holy hell? Cell changed to the Enlightened One class. Um. Ha! <laughs> My hair is green in every single image now. Hey, I can be a Grimory. That's cool. Now, Adel God. It's been a long time coming, but... I don't have any Master Seals, damn. You can, however, become one, right? Great Knight. You need Rotting B plus or higher. 67% chance, but I have no Master... <sighs> can I buy Master Seals yet? Marketplace, item shop. No, I cannot, but I can buy three more advanced. Might as well. And me not providing a significantly lowering amount of cash that I can actually spend on the game. Which really blows. And speaking of items, it'll god. I want you to put your iron sh iron shield away and equip your silver shield. Equip. There we go. Much better. Support. It'll guard. It'll take some time before you can deepen the spawn. So, like, I can only get B after the time skip? My god, there's a lot that I'm supposed. Uh, Believing can only happen during that time. Manuel is now C with Edel God. That song. Oh, hello, Edel God. Professor Manuela, that song you were humming, I feel as though I've heard it before, long ago. And I'm sure it was you singing it back then. At the Opera House in the Imperial Capital, perhaps. Why, yes. You must have seen me there. I am flattered you would remember it. I performed with the Middle Franc Opera Company in Enbar on numerous occasions. So it was you. I went to that performance with my uncle. I wanted desperately to see it again. But after that night, he took me to seek asylum in the kingdom. When I returned to the Empire several years later, you had already retired. Oh, that's a shame. So you only got to hear me sing once? Sadly, that's correct. Yet, you still remember it. 
even the melody of the song I sang. I'm honored. That's how much of an impression your voice left on me. I must ask, why did you retire so soon? You could have continued for another 10 or 20 years. Indeed, many singers perform for decades. But that wasn't for me. I wanted to go out on top. My voice is a gift from the goddess. However, as all things do, it will decline with age. One day, I will lose that gift. And so I decided I needed to learn to survive without it, long before that day came. I needed to prove to myself that I can live on, even after my voice returns to the goddess. So despite your belief in the goddess, you wish to live by your own strength? That's one way, I guess, to go about it. It's hard for me to explain. The goddess supports me both spiritually and emotionally. Everything else is up to me. Like the many you choose. Who always seem to never want to come back to you for a second time. I'm Mariana Leone, or now C. Being kicked must have hurt, didn't it, Norte? Do they think you won't gallop unless you're in pain? It must be difficult letting those boots ride you. Hey, Marianne. What are you up to? Uh, n nothing Really? I was sure I heard you talking to someone. By the way, are you free right now? Is there something you need? I was about to go buy towels and soap, but the girls saddled me with all these specific requests. They want it all to look cute or to smell a certain way, but all that's just nonsense to me. I've always made my own towels out of old scraps and soap from used cooking oil. I've never given it much thought beyond that. Oh. But I've noticed you've got some really nice things. So you have an eye for that stuff, right? Obviously, I give you all the credit. And I'm sure everyone would be really grateful for your help. No, no. I don't deserve that kind of praise. Really? I don't think that's true. Come on, you'll be doing me a big favor. My adoptive father tells me I shouldn't stray too far from the monastery. That's nonsense. You've got to get some fresh air now and again. Oh boy, an adoptive father, huh? Wonder what goes on in that house. I should stay. Besides, I wouldn't be much help. I don't think anyone would like whatever I pick out anyway. It would all go to waste. And I'm sure that having me around would just cause you misfortune, Leone. Are you serious? I should stay here by myself. Now, hold on just a second. You'll cause me misfortune? What kind of backwards talk is that? If you really don't want me around, then at least come out and say it straight. I'm sorry for the unwelcome invitation. Don't worry, I won't make the same mistake again. That wasn't what she meant. If you were to read between the lines, there's something going on with her in her house that is making her say this. And why she acts like this. Man. She always loses her cool whenever she talks to people. Really kind of sad, to be honest. Just like how it's sad that I have no more Master Seals and Edelgard finally hit 30. Oh well. <laughs> 